Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. Today we are going to be learning about two-way frequency tables. But this is number two. This one is taking it to another level. We're going a little bit more in-depth with them and some more difficult stuff. So let's get familiar again with two-way tables. We have a survey that was done where people were asked which pie flavor they liked the most. And so here is the two-way table. Pretty standard one. Uh, something that I always tell my students to do before they attempt anything is to uh, construct the totals column and row. And this is what I mean by that. I need you to add all of the uh, flavors together and then all of the, uh, the rows, the female and male, and then our grand total is in the bottom corner. Okay? So, these are the totals for the flavors, those are the totals for the male and female, and this one is the grand total. Now our first question is in a different type of notation, okay? It's P with a parentheses and the, uh, the stuff inside there. Now what P stands for is the probability. So this probability of whatever's in the parentheses happening. So. We also have a new symbol. It's the upside down U. And this is the intersection symbol, also known as a joint symbol. And what they're doing is they're trying to, they're asking you, what's the probability, um, according to this study, uh, of you picking a random person and it being a female who likes apple pie? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to find where the female and the apple intersect. And they are right there. And so out of the uh, entire group of 89, there were five who were female who liked apple pie. Okay? And so the, we answer this in a probability form as a fraction. And so this probability is the chances of you asking a random person if they uh, what they liked, and it happened to be a female who liked apple pie, a 5 in 89 chance. So here's another intersection problem. So we have the, what is the probability of the person you're asking being a male and liking cherry pie? And so we find the intersection of male and cherry pie, and that's 31. Out of our total of 89, we get 31 over 89. Now these particular fractions cannot be simplified anymore, but if you do have one that can be simplified to lower terms, you are going to want to do that. Now here's a new type of probability. This one just has one item in there, one category. And so we call this marginal probability. And the reason we call it marginal is because it deals with the margins of the totals column. Okay? so. Um, if it's just asking for apple, you just look at the total for that column, okay? And then you put it over the total of the uh, those surveyed. So for this one, what's the chances of you picking a random person and then liking apple pie? Well, there's 13 total apple pie lovers out of 89 total surveyed, and we have a 13 out of 89 chance. So here's another marginal probability. What's the probability of you picking a random person with your eyes closed and it being a female? Well, according to this survey, wherever it was done, there were 40 females out of a total of 89, and so we have a 40 out of 89 chance of just randomly asking a female. Okay. Now we have a new uh, notation here, new symbol, and it's the U, and we call this the union. So what this is asking, what is the problem, or what is the probability of you asking somebody who likes uh, cherry pie or somebody who likes pumpkin pie? So what we're doing is we are going to say what is the probability of cherry or pumpkin out of the total, and so we're going to add those two together, 
we have 52 plus 24. That makes 76 out of the total who liked cherry or pumpkin. And so that's our chances of picking a cherry pie or pumpkin pie lover. Okay. Now this last one. This one I want you to pay particular attention to because it is one you have to really think about. This one asks, it's also a union, asks the probability of you randomly choosing someone who likes apple pie or a female. So if you notice, what's different about this one than the last one is that our two numbers are in two different margins. Okay, now what this means is that in the intersected uh, table right here, or cell, uh, it's five, right? And these are females who love apple pie. And so if we were to just add the 13 and the 40, we would be doubling up on the uh, females who liked apple pie. So what we're going to have to do is add our margins, but we're going to have to subtract a five out of there because there's a five in both of them that cannot be added twice. So with that being said, we're going to simplify that and our grand total probability is a 48 out of 89 chance. So on this one, I, you probably want to watch over and over to, uh, to really get what we're, we're doing here. Um, you have to make sure that for this union, you're not just adding the two margins, but you're subtracting that which is overlapped, that five, okay? All right, well, th there was two-way frequency tables and probabilities at another level. I hope you uh, understood it and got something out of it. Uh, watch it again if you need to. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.